Welcome to this video. My name is Pedro Rodrigues Ribeiro. I'm a psychologist from Portugal. And today I would like to um, introduce to you uh, an important figure, uh, not only in the field of hypnosis or pre-hypnosis, but also uh, a cornerstone of uh, psychotherapy. Or, or should I say one of the bases in which psychotherapy was um, supported and this figure is uh, from Portuguese descendants so it's a, a privilege to talk uh, to talk about him not only he was famous for, uh, from his work, but also he was immortalized in the novel of Alexander Dumas, the Count of Monte, Monte Cristo. And uh, today I will talk about uh, the Abbot Faria. Um, José Custódio de Faria was born in India in the city of Goa and from a Portuguese parent, a Portuguese father and uh, an Indian mother. Um, his mother was uh, a very uh, in, uh, a very important uh, person in Goa because uh, her family was very influ uh, was very influential and very rich. So Financially, they were uh, a wealthy family. His father, Portuguese man, was um, a religious person. Uh, both of them were. Uh, his father was a priest and uh, his mother was a nun. However, um, what researchers and historians say is that uh, his mother was very um, author authoritarian and oppressive and the relationship, the marriage was not too healthy. So uh, when, uh, when the, the, uh, the, the abbot Faria was uh, very young, um, his parents mutually, mutually agreed to separate and and divorced. Um, by then, his father uh, returned to Lisbon, to Portugal, and the uh, the abbot Faria went with him. Uh, in in that sense, his father uh, uh, finished a PhD in th theology. And, and devoted himself to teaching and to practice and to do pract a religious practice as a priest. And the, the abbot Faria uh, followed his steps. He went to Rome in Italy to, uh, to, to take his PhD in theology as his father and uh, years later, he was ordained an, an abbot, a religious member. Uh, back then, after his ordain, he, he came back to Lisbon, where he spent a couple of years, and uh, historians refer to, to him as an important figure, not only uh, in the, in the religious community but also in the portuguese monarchy he his lectures and sermons were um very famous and uh, very important and he spent just a couple of years in lisbon in portugal and then he went to france paris where he he spent the rest of his life. He died 
in in uh, in France, there are uh, there are um, evidence that he didn't return to Portugal, so he died in France, and in France he witnessed all the revolutions and all the um, the downfall of the monarchy. He witnessed um, the assassinations of the of the the king and queen all the the members all the the important people were, were executed by the guillotine which was a, a very french way of execution he also uh, witnessed the execution of uh, uh, lavoisier the famous the the famous uh, scientist and when he was in Paris, France, he became very close to Marquis de Poisier. Uh, the Marquis was uh, uh, a former student of Franz Anton Mesmer, the famous doctor who created and devoted his life to the practice of animal magnetism or what was uh, called mesmerism back then uh, mesmer was already um, exiled from from paris he went to to germany when he where he died in isolation so mesmer was already out of the country but the the abbot became great friends with uh, the marquis and very interested in the um, the ways of uh, mesmerism, but also uh, the um, the ways of uh, suggestion. Back then, uh, not only not only the um, uh, the new uh, not only the hypnosis was starting to 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 be an important. Uh, 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 new uh, newcomer in the field of mind body interventions but also what uh, the abbot uh, the abbot Faria um, thought it was uh, the essential part of mesmerism that was suggestion was the the precursor to what uh, Hippolyte Bernheim and Antoine Libidino um, talked about and in a sense what is the what 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 inspired sigmund freud to develop some of the basis of psychoanalysis because the the main difference between the marquis de poisier and mesmer uh, from uh, the abbot faria and other figures like for example emil Coué, is that the, the Marquis and Mesmer believed that Mesmerism or um, animal magnetism was, um, was achieved by the, um, the transference of a magnetic fluid that, um, that came from uh, the therapist, the therapist, no, the, the practitioner, the mesmerist, the mesmerist, and uh, went to the um, went to the subject, went to the patient. What the the abbot Faria thought was that uh, the main importance in the the main in the main feature in mesmerism was the uh, the effect the suggestion effect and that was the precursor to what uh, Bernheim, Libidino, Coué and other famous um, uh, physicians and researchers and practitioners of hypnosis uh, talked about and what um, eventually influenced also Freud and the ways of psychoanalysis because if you if you think about it all practices 
of psychotherapy, all psychotherapeutic models um, are based in suggestion and suggesting uh, change. We suggest uh, our clients to think, to feel, to behave in, in different ways from which they are, uh, they are used to. We suggest the possibility of change. So our language is very suggestive. Some models more than others, uh, but psychotherapy is uh, um, uh, a suggestion-based uh, art and, uh, and science. So what the, the Abbot Faria, what Emil Coué, Hippolyte Bernheim, Le, uh, Antoine Levidino, and other people uh, what they brought uh, from the richnesses from uh, they brought uh, a richness to the field of psychoanalysis psychotherapy and what was eventually what became what eventually became psychology uh, they brought the idea of suggestion Suggesting, suggesting things that uh, that possibly um, possibly um, crystallized in uh, change, some more than others. So the the uh, what the Abbot Faria uh, realized and what he uh, talked about in his practices was the importance of suggestion. And the Abbot Faria dedicated his life to helping others, not only by teaching, not only by preaching, but also by utilizing the, uh, this, um, this, knowledge, uh, this knowledge in mesmerism and suggestion to help people. Eventually, the abbot was um, was accused of being a revolutionary, or to be, or being a part of the the revolution that went on to France, and eventually he was arrested. And and uh, a couple of years later he died as i said in uh, in the first minute in my first minute of this video the the figure of the the abbot faria was immortalized by alexander dumas when he went to france to paris and uh and he discovered the abbot faria he, his history uh, I I'm not sure that the Abbot Faria met Alexander Dumas I think they didn't they didn't know uh, they didn't knew each other but the Abbot was a very important figure and Alexander Dumas adapted the the life and the importance of the Abbot Faria in his novel, the the Count of Monte Cristo. As I as I'm finishing this video, I'm uh, I wanted to say that because the Abbot was such an important figure, he he you can find a statue of the Abbot in the city of Goa, his home his hometown and but also uh, a lot of important reference in Portuguese culture and Portuguese literature such as for example Essa de Queiroz 
one of one of the most important physicians and also a Nobel Prize winner in the field of medicine, um, uh, Asad Kairash, uh, talked about uh, Diabet Faria and his practices of of mesmerism and hypnotism. So he was a very important figure and and more important than that at least for me because i'm a patriot was his portuguese heritage watch what oh, which which is a, a proud um, a proud thing i want to thank you for your time and and i wish you uh, a good week Please be safe, please be healthy, and I see you next time.